I'm going to say about. Um, Jennifer Edwards, a.k.a. Jen Ed, has performed dance, theater, and spoken word around the world from the windows of Grand Central Station to the streets of Shanghai, China. She earned the title, she's earned titles including Sister Spin Slam Champion, a Fresh Fruit Award, and nominations for both Just Plain Folk Award and Out Music Award. Her poetry and prose have been published in collections including Ast Astrology, The Mom Egg, the, in the International Museum of Women, her dance films have appeared in unusual spaces, such as Martha Stewart's Whole Living website. Did you get to meet Martha? Yeah. Like, did she bake you something? No. <laughs> <laughs> I heard she's like a... Okay. So, <laughs> but I love everything she does. Um, and the Solar One... In the, so in the Solar One Festival, Jen's mom, who suffered from breast cancer, as well as uter uterine and liver cancer, died when Jen was 15. Currently, Jen writes for the Huffington Post and is about to release her first app called Home Body. Welcome, Jen Ed. All right. So it has been a long time since I've done this. So be gentle, please. Um, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you, Mike. Um, I'm short, so this is going to be challenging. There we go. Okay. So uh, this piece was written in 2001, before the towers were attacked, um, and just after Bush took office, and I was really pissed, and um, somebody asked me what I wanted, and this was my response. This is called One-Breasted President. I want a one-breasted president. Someone who lives in a high-risk category with nothing to lose. Someone not tied to a political party, a union, a corporation. A one-breasted president not tied to American corporate faith-based charities, American corporate money. I want a one-breasted warrior. I want her to tell us what to do with our oceans, our forests, our bodies. I'd like to hear her definition of mass destruction. A one-breasted warrior who would build a house that's not so white. A house built on bedrock, not the cigarette butts and shotgun shells of the NRA, the FDA. I want her to stand up and say, Mr. Speaker, I will not be another statistic. I will not be put into a box marked, some parts not included, assembly is required. I want a menopausal pope. <laughs> Someone who has bled and created life. I'd like to hear her thoughts on contraception, masturbation, Americanization, globalization, populations dying. While we eat genetically engineered food, drink chemically treated water, and buy enough insurance to cover the medical bills, I want. Do you know what I had? I had a one-breasted mother. One breast, no uterus, and a yellow bloated liver. She was the incredible shrinking woman. Shrinking under her Bible, her husband, her mother, I needed her to wear her scars and go bald in public, not tied to a Bible, a husband, a mother, who all silently agreed not to talk about it. He voted for Reagan while she baked cookies. You know, she never talked about it. She never talked about being sick. Silence like asbestos insulation hung over our house, filled our lungs. I wonder if she talked to God. She talked about God, she prayed, she prayed for people, over people, she went to prayer groups, but I wonder if she talked to her God because she sure didn't talk to me. Now it's 24 years later, and I'm living in a nation shrinking under its Bible, its media, its money, its omissions, its omissions, its admissions, its backrooms, its boardrooms, its payoffs, its police stations, its blow it up, throw it away, suck it, dry politics. And what if one day, God, I could be right now, one tiny cell somewhere around my Texas, my Missouri or Illinois, yes, to the south or the west, decides to turn against me. And that little bastard cell starts dividing and multiplying, multiplying and dividing, growing and growing until they wheel me down that long haul. Carve out my mountains, strip mine my fertile valleys, pump my streams full of toxic chemicals until my hair falls out and my skin turns yellow. Until I don't want to live in this country, inhabit this planet, this body, anymore. And I wonder, will I stand up, open my mouth, or shrink under my fear? Thanks. Mm -hmm.